Hello everyone, it's Miss Tanya and Mrs Fuller from the Visual Arts Department and we thought we would have some fun teaching you how to make snowflakes. Now Miss Tanya tells me she doesn't know how to make snowflakes. It's so been a while. I'm going to teach her and I thought you might enjoy doing it at the same time. Okay now all you need for this activity is a pair of scissors and some white paper. You want your snowflakes to be white, you need your paper to be white. If I want my snowflake to be pink, pink paper. Okay. <laughs> so. First thing we are going to do is we are going to fold the corner of our piece of paper up there just so it looks so it looks like that. So you're, you will be forming a square. Okay. okay. And what do we do? Okay, just here? like that. Press down. Yep. Okay. Press down nice and firmly with your nails so you get a good fold. Then we are going to get this corner here. And we're going to fold it over here. Okay? So now it should look like this. Or like this. Yes. <laughs> exactly. A house. Then you are going to fold it in. In fact, I'm probably going to fold it the other way so I can see the line. You're going okay. to then fold it like that. Okay? And try and keep all your edges together. Okay, like that, and then you don't need all this, so you're going to cut it here, okay? And I, you could do a few curves if you like, I'm just going to cut it with one curve going all the way across. <laughs> Hope if I get the paper. So it will look like that. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to cut <laughs> pieces out. Now you can cut little pieces here. You can have straight lines so it looks like triangles are being cut out or some curves so it looks like you've got semicircles out the side. Now you can take a little bit off the bottom but don't chop this bottom bit off because otherwise your snowflake will look great. So we're cutting from the two sides. Yes. And the top. And the top. And a tiny little bit from okay. the bottom. Here you go. Okay, so I'm going to do my tiny bit first so I don't get carried away in a minute and accidentally chop more off than I need to. So the size doesn't matter. No, it's good to have a variety. Okay. I quite like having a nice big chunk out of the middle there. And I quite like having lots of different shapes being cut from the curve that's at the top. How are you going there, Mrs. Fuller? Not bad. I just good. think I need to be careful not to make sure that they're too close, okay. those cuts there, because otherwise it might make it a little bit weak. Oh, nearly finished. So, Mrs. Fuller, do you have any facts about snowflakes? snowflakes? Well, you know what? I do know that there are no two snowflakes the same anywhere in the world. Wow. Every single snowflake is completely different. I'm excited, isn't it? Thank you for the fact. Right, are you ready? I don't, I don't know. Am I ready? So, you're going to open it out carefully. And then you're going to open it out carefully again. Then you're going to open it out carefully again and hopefully you have something that looks a little bit like a snowflake. Wow! <laughs> Our two snowflakes are not the same. Now let's fold those back up a minute and let's talk about why that is. Let's fold that up. So when I started mine at the top, I had a curve at the top and you had a different shape. Okay, so what could I do without starting again? You, I suppose you could try and cut this little bit off here and that would make it more curvy. Or you could just appreciate that yours looks a bit square. That's okay. <laughs> I'm going to just make a few more incisions. <laughs> okay, you go for it. I yeah. chopped that corner off there. I'm <laughs> bossy. So, oh, it's going to be beautiful. Open it up now. No, two snowflakes are the same, remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with this is a unique snowflake. They are all unique. You are unique, Miss Tanya. So once, once we have made the snowflakes, what could we do with these snowflakes? We could blue tack them onto a window. It's really nice to see them from the outside, or you can blue tack them onto the door. Okay, okay great. Thank you, everyone. Enjoy.